Hello, Jessica Gerbrix back for another 2013 LEGO Friends review, and this is set number 41011. It's called Stephanie Soccer Practice. It has 80 pieces. It's recommended for ages 5 to 12, and it's starting to show up in Target stores as I did get this at Target, and it retails for $10 in the US, and it has one minifigure. And now let's take a look at the packaging. So here is the box for the set, and it is a pretty nice box. There's actually like a town hall in the background there. And the back of the box shows some of the play features and Stephanie in her new clothes and some of the graphics. And then the actual instruction booklet itself is a moderate size. And there's a few advertisements in the back for the new sets and stuff like that. And there's the wooden girl, which is kind of funny. Now let's take a look at the figures. So the only figure or mini doll in this set is Stephanie, and this is a new version as she has a new torso. But her face is the same and her actual um, hair is the same. And the torso has a 7 on it for like, as it's a soccer, I guess, jersey, I'm not really sure of the terminology. And she has some new legs with these printing of sneakers, which is actually pretty usable. And the back of her really has no printing, I'm pretty sure. But that's it, and her hair piece is usable on regular minifigures. As you can see right here, this is just my demo regular female figure. It does fit pretty good on it, but it doesn't look really good with the yellow figures, but I would advise using this hair piece specifically for like peach figures as it's already blonde. That's it, now let's take a look at the actual set itself. Here is the set all together and I'll be reviewing each set in parts coming right now. So the first part of the set is the soccer ball part with the kicking thing. and. The main part of this is really the soccer ball, which is why a lot of people are probably going to get this set. And the soccer ball is actually a new printing, but it is the same piece from like 2001 and stuff like that. And it was originally used in the sports team and the town theme. But the actual printing on this, which is a new printing, on my specific piece is a little bit off on the paint, which is kind of disappointing. But still a pretty cool piece. And the main play function of the set is basically that you press this part right here, I'll, I'll put it positioned like this, one of the soccer balls, which fits on here pretty good, and push it down, and the soccer ball kind of like rolls, but it's not really that good as the soccer ball doesn't really go far. So there's that part. Then there's just stand for a soccer ball, as these little circular parts, plates right there actually stand the soccer ball pretty good. And then there's this like hound dog-like dog right there. and. I, he or she is pretty cool, and she does come with a bow which you put in Stephanie's hair and the bones, so that part's cool. And then it does come with a banana too, and that's just a throw and it's kind of off. And it actually comes with a cone part right here, so I guess um, Stephanie could practice kicking her soccer ball or whatever. And the only funny part about that is that Stephanie and all the other friends' mini dolls can't move each leg individually, so the only way she could kick it is by sitting down. So. That's going to be hard if you're making like a stop motion out of that. But you could easily just push this from part to part, so I guess you could play with it yourself. So that's a pretty cool feature. And then there's a stopper right there. And it does use these um, tiles, I think they're 2 by 2s with the little stud in the middle, or the little part in the middle, I forget what they're called. And it does come with four of those in kind of a light green. So that part's cool. And then the rest of the set is this goal part right here, which is pretty cool. And sadly, there isn't a net, but if they put a net to this, this would be so cool. But there is some of these tiles up here, which is a nice addition. And you could easily just flick the ball into there by with your hands or whatever. Or you could even use a kickstopper thing. But this is just a really cool addition. And then the main part, or my favorite part from the set besides the ball itself, is this little bench right here. And the bench is really cool because it's kind of gender neutral. I mean, there is a few pink pieces inside there, but otherwise you could just take off those pink pieces and replace it because there's it's mostly just blue and green and stuff like that. And then there's this cooler right here which is just an awesome detail. And here's a 360 view on the actual part itself. And they do use the, two of these arch pieces which I rarely ever see. And then there's this side part. And there is a nice 2x4 um, I think tile piece in there and a cup which is pretty cool. And so that's really it for the set, and you could easily just lay Stephanie in there, and she could be sitting in there with her little drink. So yeah, like I said, that's it for the set, and now let's take a look at the final verdict. Overall, for $10, I think this is a pretty cool set. Overall, the price per piece ratio isn't too good as it is 80 pieces, 
But the minifigure, Stephanie, who's exclusive to the set as she's wearing new clothes, is pretty cool. And the soccer ball, which hasn't been, like, used since, I think, 2005, maybe, is actually a nice addition, and so is the actual puppy. And the best part about the set is really that you could use it in a LEGO city, as it isn't too girly. I mean, there's a few parts with that little bench part right there, but you could easily take those out. There are a lot of cool pieces, so I do rate this set an 8. 0.5 out of 10, and I would recommend picking this up, even if you're not too much of a LEGO Friends fan. And that's it for the review, and I'll see you guys next time. Hopefully with some Chima, probably tomorrow. Bye.